Hey everyone, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you the five-step process that I use to quickly and accurately qualify keyword opportunities. And this is gonna help you extract only the most realistic keyword targets for your business. Now we're gonna cover several different working examples to illustrate this process in the video. But before we jump into those examples, I just wanna quickly go over the five different SERP data points that I look at during this qualification process. Okay, so the first one here is traffic potential. Essentially, if you rank for a keyword, you just wanna make sure that it's gonna actually drive traffic to your website. And the traffic thresholds are gonna vary depending on your business type and the intent of the keyword. So for example, typically higher intent keywords are gonna have lower traffic thresholds, whereas lower intent keywords are gonna have higher traffic thresholds. The second one here, and this is arguably the most important, is content type and format. Now, it doesn't matter how awesome your content is or how many backlinks you've built to it, if you're targeting a keyword with the wrong content type and format, you'll likely never be able to rank. The third one I'll look at is domain and page rating metrics. And specifically, you wanna see domains that are within five domain rating points of your domain ranking in the top five positions. And similarly, you wanna see page ratings of the URLs in the top five positions that are in the single digits or low teen values. Next, you wanna look referring domain counts. Once you've identified keywords that have domains similar to yours ranking in the top five or 10 positions, you also want to make sure that those have or acquire single digit or low teen referring domain counts in order to rank. And then finally, we want to look at the parent keyword and within different keyword research tools, I'll often give you the parent keyword. You want to make sure this aligns directly with the keyword that you're targeting because it's extra validation that you actually need a dedicated article in order to rank for that keyword. Okay, I'm gonna be using Ahrefs for the working examples in this video. And the first thing you wanna do is come into the Ahrefs Site Explorer and just enter your domain. Now, what you wanna do is take a note quickly of your domain rating scores. This is gonna be handy during the qualification process that we're about to walk through. Now, for a beard brand, this site sells different beard products, one of which is beard oils. So they might be interested in going after a keyword such as the best smelling beard oils. So what you would do if that was the case, is you would enter in that keyword into the Ahrefs Keyword Explorer and then scroll down to the SERP overview report. And this is where you're gonna start going through each of those five different SERP data points that we covered on the previous slide. Now, the first one here is you wanna make sure that these URLs are actually bringing in traffic if they're for ranking for that keyword. So I can see looking at the top four or five articles here, most of them are bringing in over 100 organic visits a month. So that's a good sign that I can bring in some good targeted traffic if I'm able to rank for this keyword. Next, I wanna look at the domain rating scores of the URLs ranking. Now I can see here that Beard Brand in this example has a DR74. I can see that there are several results ranking on page one that have much lower domain rating scores than Beard Brand. So that's another good sign. Next is we want to look at the content type and format. So I can see right away here that in order to rank for this keyword, especially in the top five or six positions, I'm going to need a blog post content type in a listicle format. Next, I will look at the URL or page rating. So I can see all of these are in the low single digits or team values. So that's another good sign. And I can also see that most of the URLs ranking for this keyword have zero or very low referring domain counts. And then the final thing we wanna look at here is the top keyword. And you can see here that best smelling beard oil is the primary keyword or the top keyword that is being directly targeted by each of the results in the top five or six position of this SERP. So that's another great validation that we're gonna need a dedicated listicle blog content type targeting specifically the best smelling or scented beard oils. And because all of the domains ranking have similar or lower domain rating values than beard brand and low URL and page level referring domain counts, this seems like it would be a great keyword opportunity for them to go after that they could realistically rank for within the next 60 to 90 days. Okay, so another example here is SaaS SEO agency. Our agency, Vareo, offers SEO services to B2B SaaS companies. So what we're interested in is ranking for this keyword, SaaS SEO agency, and all of the different secondary keywords that come with that. So if I enter in that keyword, Vareo's domain rating right now is around 40. So if I scroll to the bottom and we repeat this exercise, I can see right away that the URLs ranking on the first page are bringing in a good amount of traffic. And because this traffic is going to be really targeted and higher intent, uh, I can have a slightly lower threshold than maybe something you would look at for more of an informational topic. Now, if I look over here at the domain rating column, I can see there are several results that are lower or within plus or minus five domain rating points of the DR40 that Boreo has. So that's another good sign. Next, I can see for the content type and format that will be needed, it's primarily service 
pages that are ranking here. There are a couple listicles, but for all of the different agencies that we'd be competing with, they're predominantly service-based pages. So that's a content type that we would have the best chance of ranking with as well. Now, finally, I can look at the URL rating. All of these are low single digit or teen values, which is another good sign. If I look at the referring domain column for the pages that have lower domain ratings, such as 27 here for this agency in position eight, they all have relatively low referring domain counts. So that's another good sign. If we were able to build out a service page, it would have to be longer form because you can see here in the word counts that they're all one, two plus thousand words. So we would have to have a really long form service page in order to rank. But if we're able to build some quality referring domains to that page, we'd have a really strong chance of ranking within the next three months. And then finally, you can see the top keyword is an exact match of our primary keyword target there. So that's another good validation that we would need that dedicated service page in order to rank for this keyword. Now, finally, if we look at an example here, like SEO tools, this is a keyword that I would ideally like to rank on, on my personal blog, but let's just pretend that you're an SEO platform that wants to rank for this keyword as well. If you come down to the SERP overview report, you're going to see right away way that these URLs have tons of traffic coming to them. But as we scroll across, you can see in the domain rating column, all of the sites are really, really authoritative domains up into the domain 90 range in a lot of cases. And you can see it's a listicle format for blog content type, but all of them have really high URL ratings and hundreds of referring domains pointing to them. And they're all mostly five plus thousand words in length. So this is a really, really competitive keyword. Unless you have massive domain authority and the ability to build out a ton of backlinks to your content, this is probably a keyword that you're gonna have a really hard time ranking for within the next 12 months, if ever. So this one might be one you table and go after some lower hanging fruit opportunities. Okay, so those are a few working examples. Remember when you're looking at those five different SERP data points, review those and you'll be able to qualify keywords more accurately so that you're only going after the realistic targets. If you like this video, please hit subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.